This time, so in this video, we are looking at the digestive system and enzymes. So the food you eat is made up of insoluble molecules, and therefore they need to be broken down before they are absorbed into the blood. So the digestive system is a muscular tube that squeezes food through it. And the digestive system contains many different organs and glands like the pancreas, which release different digestive juices, which contain enzymes. So the muscular walls squeeze food into your large intestine, which is where the water is absorbed from the undigested food, and then the material left forms the feces, which are stored before being passed out through the anus. So one thing we need to know about in the digestive system is the enzymes, as in your body, chemical reactions are controlled by enzymes, and enzymes are large protein molecules which speed up reactions as they are biological catalysts and the long chain of amino acids are folded to give the enzymes a specific shape. And this specific shape allows other molecules to fit into the enzyme protein called the active site. So enzymes can build up large molecules from smaller ones. For example, they can make glycogen from glucose. They can break down large molecules into smaller ones. So things like breaking down insoluble molecules into soluble ones, which is used in digestion. And they can change one molecule into another, such as changing sugar into fructose. Now they are not used in the reaction, they simply speed it up. How does an enzyme work then? And in an enzyme, the substrate will fit into the active site of the enzyme. And this is like a lock and key. So the enzyme and the substrate bind together so that the reaction can take place rapidly. But there are factors which affect enzyme action. So for example, one of these factors is temperature. And the rate of enzyme controlled reactions increase as the temperature increases. However, if it gets too hot, and this is around 40 degrees, the bonds holding the enzyme will break and it will be denatured. So this means that the enzyme will no longer have its special shape. Now enzymes in the human body work best at around 37 degrees Celsius. pH, that is another thing that can affect enzyme action. And if the pH is either too low or too high, the enzyme is denatured. So all enzymes have an optimum pH or around neutral pH 7. However, some like pepsin in the stomach worked best at pH 2, which is obviously very acidic. So therefore, enzymes are used a lot in digestion, because your food is made of these large insoluble molecules, which cannot be absorbed. And obviously, these need to be broken down or digested to form smaller soluble molecules, and that is controlled by enzymes in the body. So most enzymes work inside the body, however, digestive enzymes are produced in specialized cells in glands like the pancreas. Now the muscles of the gut then will move your food along from one area to the next. So digesting carbohydrates is the first one because you have en different enzymes for different functions. So amylase is the enzyme which converts starch into sugars. So amylase is produced in the salivary glands, the pancreas and the small intestine. So no digestion will take place in the pancreas as the enzymes flow to the small intestine where most is digested. Then to digest proteins, you need something called protease, and protease converts proteins into amino acids. Now protease is made in the stomach, the pancreas, and the small intestine. Again, it will not work in the pancreas. So then for digesting fat, we need lipase. Now lipase converts lipids into glycerol and fatty acids. Now lipase is made in the pancreas and the small intestine. So there are some ways of speeding up digestion, and one of these is bile. So bile is produced in the liver, and it's stored in the gallbladder. So the stomach produces hydrochloric acids to kill bacteria, and give the right pH for protease to work. However, it makes the pH too acidic for enzymes in the small intestine. Therefore, because bile is alkaline, it neutralizes the acids and makes the conditions alkaline. Now it also emulsifies fat, which means it breaks down fats into tiny droplets. And this makes digestion faster as they're a biggest surface area of fat. So thank you for watching. That is both digestion and then enzymes and how enzymes are used in digestion to help it. Obviously without any of these two, we wouldn't be able to function. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.